Hey guys, welcome back for my 24 week video vlog update. It has gone by very, very fast. I am at the six month mark now. Um, all of these videos, I mean, every week, like every time I do it, it's just faster and faster. I was like, wow, has it been a week already? So yeah, 24 weeks, six months. Um, not really too much new has been going on. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I have a fan on in the background. I should have turned it off. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. But yeah, it's really, really hot today, so we got the fans on. But anyway, um, of course I'm still having the heartburn and the indigestion, a little bit of chest pain. I still haven't been able to find my Tums, but I did go to Walmart and didn't even check, so my fault on that. Um, I'm still having a lot of baby brain. I'm pretty forgetful, especially with names and stuff. Um, more often now, I'm having like that weird thing I tried to describe before, like my tailbone is separating or something. But like I get like a cramp and it's always like on my right side. And it's like in between where my butt and my hip is. It's like a weird area. So it's like my butt, my leg, my hip. It's like that whole joint. I get like a crazy, crazy cramp. And I almost like fall over or lose balance when it happens. So like at work, it's been happening a lot. And like I don't really fall fall because my other leg is fine. <laughs> but it just it takes me by surprise and it's like a really, really sharp pain. But it only lasts a second and then it goes away. So I'm like, okay. That's probably just things stretching and moving. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I do seem to be getting fuller easier now. So like, I've been still eating my same proportions. Portions. It's portions? See, baby brain. I don't even know how to talk. But yeah, I've been eating the same amount um, every time. And I haven't really made it smaller or anything. But now I'm noticing when I'm eating that. I feel more fuller like way up up here so I don't know my tummy is kind of getting squished I think um, cravings I'm seriously been craving ice cream all week so I finally did get to go to Dairy Queen I had a dipped cone it was super super yummy I haven't had that since I was a kid usually I don't get that but I have been craving just like old school stuff things that reminded me of my childhood so I got that I've been wanting to go to thrifties to get some ice cream it's like an ice cream I grew up with in California when I was a kid um, and they have one right next door to my work and I still haven't gone but um, soon I mean I think it's only like a dollar or two so I'm definitely gonna do that soon but just like old school ice cream is what I'm craving um, also chocolate shakes those have been my main cravings this week um, I haven't had really any aversions recently um, still don't really like nuts or anything like that but I just kind of avoided it so I haven't really noticed it I had a huge headache yesterday I was gonna do an update yesterday because technically that's when I was 24 weeks well no it wasn't a few days ago anyways um, but I had a headache all day it was huge we ended up taking my cat to the vet he's not doing good at all we found out he has congestive heart failure super super sad I have to give him shots now um, anyway that's been really really sad but I had a headache all day really busy and I try not to take anything and then um, I just had like a whole bunch of Gatorade water I was staying hydrated and nothing really seemed to help I took a nap that made it worse I was like wow and then so I didn't get any exercise in I haven't really been as good with my exercise this week because I've been busy doing other things so I haven't exercised I think after this I'm, I am gonna go for a walk um, but yeah, there was a point to all that. Oh, my headache. So I didn't up update because of that. But I woke up this morning, I didn't take anything still, and my headache went away. So I'm glad I didn't take anything. I almost did, but I just, like, bare through it. Sleeping is also getting a little harder now that baby's getting bigger. Um, and then I got sunburn. So this is my second sunburn for this pregnancy. I haven't had sunburn in years. But, I mean, you can kind of see it. It's peeling now, so it's finally starting to heal. But um, I haven't had sunburn in years, and now to this pregnancy, they say that your skin is a lot more sensitive when you're pregnant, and as you can see, I'm already very white. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to mention before I let you guys go and do my bump is, um, have you guys heard, um, I think it's called the breast crawl? Um, I just found this out from a fellow friend of mine. Basically, um, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and try to find the article and attach it down down below for you guys because it was really interesting 
And also if you just go in the search engine for YouTube and type in like breast crawl, you'll see all these amazing videos of it happening. Basically it's a theory that um, we've been breastfeeding wrong this whole time and that's part of the reason why so many women are having issues breastfeeding. Supposedly the baby's supposed to breastfeed um, laying on their belly so you're supposed to be flat when you're breastfeeding um, so the baby can be on the belly and like right after birth put the baby on your chest, the baby will naturally crawl and find the breast and start um, breastfeeding on its own. And I mean there's all this other, you know, of course research and like more scientific stuff. You can read the article about that. But I was just really amazed and when I saw the video the baby totally just crawled on its own and found the boob. It was awesome. So I don't know, anything that, any information that can help for me I'm going to try to read about because I already think I'm going to have issues. So that was really cool learning that. So I don't know if you guys haven't heard about it. You can read it below. If you have, you can tell me what are your thoughts. Have you tried it? Does it work for you? I mean, everyone's probably going to have their own different technique that works for them and their baby. But um, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my bump now. I pretty much feel the same. Um, as before, so I don't think it's that much bigger, but I don't know. I'm, I see myself every day. Oh, my bag of sugar. Still haven't moved it. <laughs> so this is me and my little bump. These are my new shorts. That barely fit. Here it is this way. You guys see it okay? And my bare belly. I guess it does stick out a lot. <laughs> Whee! It's pretty big, huh? Alright. That's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully I gave you guys some info on the breast crawl if you didn't know about it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thanks for watching.